is definitely one of the easier bullpens I've caught. I don't gotta fucking move. What's up, YouTube Ronies? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a special guest in the building. Uh, if you don't mind, who can introduce yourself? Who we got? What's up? I'm Kyle Freeland, starting pitcher of the Colorado Rockies. Swung on and miss. Josh Harrison. Freeland. Freeland. <laughs> Kyle Freeland can do no wrong. Let's fucking go, baby. How do you feel, man? How do you feel right now? How's your body feeling after the offseason training? Are you ready to go or what? I'm ready to go. Starting that build right now getting close hopefully we can start playing ball soon hey man we gotta figure that shit out pretty soon now is there anything that you're working on this off season uh right now just fine-tuning some stuff i mean today is kind of a one of those days to get a couple pitches get yep. it get it moving the right way get the ball on the right axis yep. and uh and move from there all right uh so, so is there like one thing that you've been working on today's uh, bullpen or anything like that or change ups and sliders change ups and sliders i fucking like that yeah. now if you don't mind introduce them uh what do you throw what pitches do you throw so i throw uh four seam fastball two seam fastball slider curveball change up five pitch mix let's fucking go baby hey let's get after it baby all right hey cast that fucking pen baby whatever it is let's do it and also don't forget Drink G Fuel or die. Use my code King of Juco to get 10% off. Just do it. Just fucking drink G Fuel. I can't. I can fuck. I can't. What are you? What are you doing, bro? And he yips out over there, fucking. Five pitch mix, huh? Fuck, yeah. must be nice. Shit, I can't even do two pitches, man. Shit. I don't throw hard as shit, so I gotta throw. Shit. <laughs> you don't throw hundreds, so you're like, oh fuck, I gotta find a way. Yeah. All right, time to catch some fucking pen, baby. Make this shit look good. Let's go, baby. All right, if you don't mind, quick, quickly. Um, so, what are we trying to do with uh, Edgertronic? What kind of um, stuff are you trying to see? So, with changeup, we're just trying to get the right spin axis to okay. where it has, with my arm angle, getting that right true spin. Okay. Uh, where it's coming out looking like a fastball, but it's having that nice, good depth to it with a little bit of run. Gotcha. So gotcha. We're trying to get get that spin axis right and. Uh, Hopefully get that get shit nice moving a little more is yeah. what we need, huh? And what kind of ball we got here? So just a custom ball. Just to uh, basically what we do is we look at the certain dots, especially uh -huh. as it's spinning across an axis, and we can dictate a true spin rate and then Incredible. also a true spin axis. So it's a little more precise than Rapsodo and some right, other right. components out there. Right. Just our manual way of doing it. Hell so. yeah, man. This motherfucking Edgertronic is like very, very expensive. I mean, that little fucking thing costs like a lot of money. So it's pretty crazy. It did seem like a lot of money at the time. The cost has got nothing to do with this. Your quality of life changes so dramatic. I think what I went through for 30 years with dentures. But yeah, man, again, this is what the pitching design does. Um, even the big leaguers, pro guys are doing this for a reason, to make their shit more nasty, to move better or whatever, so. <laughs> Yeah, again, these big leaguers, they throw very easy and just spotting up. That's what they do. Two seam right here. Fuck yeah. You throw that off him, the two seamer? All the time. I think fucking moves, dude. Goddamn. Hammer action. Woo! -hoo! Pick that shit. Let's get it. So right now he's switching the pitches, so um, they're working the electronic footage right now while he's uh, he doesn't lose his rhythm. Man, this motherfucker's spotting, dude. This is definitely one of the easier bullpens I've caught. I don't gotta fucking move. Change up right here. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, baby. Dude. With all of his pitches, spotting. It's a big league right there, baby.
So if you guys don't know what an Edgertronic is, it's a super high speed camera that captures basically the ball coming out of your hand as a release point. Uh, it basically tells you a lot of the, the profile that the pitch has. Beautiful. This man, fuck, just dying, bro. Dying. I'll take a quick break here for the boys. Cheers, motherfuckers. G Fuel Forever hype sauce. Feel not NSF. You can't drink it. Hey, fuck off, man. Hey, drink whatever the fuck you want. G Fuel or die, baby. <laughs> NSF these nuts, baby. Hey, that two seems fucking beautiful, man. Oh! All right, my guy. How did you feel about the bullpen? What are your takeaways? Felt pretty good. Fuck yeah. It was still, good. Uh, still building that velo a little bit, but mm -hmm. uh, I mean, pitch mix for the most part feels really good with spotting all five up. pitches. Yeah, spotting, spotting up. up. Uh, that two seems fucking nasty, dude. That's your go-to, I'm guessing. That's a uh, that's my go-to to keep hitters on their toes. Absolutely. Both lefties and righties can right. run, run it in on lefties' hands. And it's got that late movement. It moves a lot too. Yeah. I mean, the profile is pretty good, huh? Yeah, it's pretty good, and we're just trying to get that spin to, I mean, as perfect as we can get it. Right. So it gets even more moving where I can, you know, create even more drastic movement on it and. Uh, and really keep them off balance. Okay, if you don't mind, show the people your grips. Uh, a lot of people love the grip content, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. what do you got here? So this is my four seam fastball. Okay, just traditional. Oh, yeah, you, you tuck your thumb I, in though. I, I do the, I do the yeah. same thing too. I tuck, tuck my thumb. Yeah, is there a it. reason that you do that? Just, I feel I, more comfort with, the, I with feel the more, tucking I, in. I feel like I'm losing the ball if I'm not tucking it. I agree with you on that. Yeah. Um, two seam, I go on the back horseshoe. No shit. Yeah, okay, that's a little right. bit different than traditional though, yeah, huh? I, I haven't met anyone who's thrown one like this. No, so I've usually it's more um, it's either it's, either cross it's a that or, exactly. Or, exactly or that or seam, that. But I, I found you know being able to take this back seam, be able to just rip it backwards. Incredible. I mean you get that you get that nice grip on it and uh and it'll just like rip it back and, and you know create the spin that you want. Right, right, right. Uh going into my curveball. Spike curveball it's spike heater two yeah. year two years new yeah. now. So it's uh and it's worked out really well you know yeah. adding into my arsenal and everything absolutely that slider one is that you know we're trying to you know it used to be my go-to but now it's uh it's kind of turned a little more a little more cutterish it, it, dude, so i was gonna say so the ones that you're handcuffing me on they yeah. move like cutters yeah. but i mean they're still moving like late movement nasty yeah. it's just a little bit different than just regular yeah, slider we're, we're trying sure. to you know get that manipulation where I are can you trying to be a little more cutter? like a slider a little or more depthy on it. a little more depth yeah okay and then going into that uh, change up change up you know kind of traditional change just yep. kind of offsetting the laces just trying to get that um good change up spin mm -hmm. where it lo looks like a fastball and, right uh drops like a change up absolutely now is there like a the cue that works for you when you're throwing a bullpen um is there anything that you're working on uh whatever cues that work for you uh for me you know usually usually when i'm when my catchers are catching my bullpens it's uh you know we're trying to spot up on the edges i mean you are um, right? <laughs> that, was, that was one of the easier bullpens i've kind of appreciate yeah. that and but. then uh and for me you know my catcher always you know you don't need to make sure that my front side is staying closed yeah my front side's opening up too early right i'm gonna be missing arm side a ton exactly uh then be drastically you know up and away and and down down and in right um, which so, on today i mean i didn't see anything like that so i think uh, you were pretty right on there yeah uh, felt with, good. with close side and everything um is there like a goal for the off season there's like a one goal that you're working on this offseason. What, what was it? Uh, my one goal this offseason is getting that change up right where change I want up. it. Um, you know, it, it's you one throw thing. out a lot in that during the season, or? Yeah, I mean, you know, pitching in Colorado, you have to. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to have a change true. up. You got to um, <laughs> pitch at the worst ballpark you can yeah. pitch. Now, how how is that, by the way? Pitching in Colorado at home, like that's got to be like, it's a hitter's park, obviously. Yeah. It's, it's the biggest hitter's park in the in the in the in the, in the league. Yeah. Now, like, is, that, is, there, is your plan a little bit different than when you're pitching at home compared to let's say you're pitching in I don't know San Francisco or whatever? Yeah. So there, there's actually. After you know being in the league for a while, yep. you realize that there are adjustments that you need to make. So Absolutely. you know, going from sea level to altitude, altitude to sea level, you got to right. know there's small adjustments with hand position, release point, all incredible. that. Incredible. Going into whatever ballpark, whether it's at home or That's now incredible. going on the road, that you got to know those little adjustments. You got to know your stuff is going to break a lot more, say if right. you're going to San Diego, right, compared right, right. to coming back home to Colorado. Crazy man. Hey yeah. man, appreciate you. Yeah. It was my pleasure catching Absolutely. you. Good keep job. working hard. We'll keep doing this shit. We'll do. Nice. Let's go, baby. Hey. Anyways, hey, I hope you guys learned a little bit. That's crazy how much detail it comes when it comes to at the big league level. You know, like C-level, no C-level. That's, that's fucking crazy stuff to me. Um, so anyways, man, that's it for today. If you haven't, like, subscribe, and don't forget, lift big, throw gas, hit bombs, 
And uh, where can they find you? My Instagram is uh, freeballin21. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, my Twitter is uh, at kfree underscore 21. Let's go, baby. Can you ball? Like, if you're going to have that tag, I mean, you got to be able to ball, dog. Shit. I a little bit. <laughs> All right. Peace.